Everybody, welcome to the Gentleman Scholars Club. Just going to show you an outfit that I wore today, temperature being around 90 degrees. It is still June, early June, and it's the northern United States, so obviously climate change is at work here. Um, challenge with tailored clothes is that they are, they were originally designed for British climate. So if you want to wear a jacket, a sport coat, a suit, and things like that, and you have climate change or you just live in an area where temperatures routinely hit you know 30 plus centigrade or 90 plus fahrenheit even the 80s you'll be challenged in terms of how to wear tailoring in the summer um, you can do some options like a uh, seersucker you can do hop sack which is kind of an open weave jacket um, but still challenging in the summertime so what I did today um, wore kind of a loud pattern. I think this would be a Tattersall, characterized as a Tattersall jacket. It's a wool, a light wool from Boji Milano. It's blue and navy blue and white, um, unlined. So you always want to wear an unlined jacket in hot weather. Sometimes you may wear a quarter lined. Uh, I think this probably is quarter lined where there's a light lining around the shoulder area and uh, inside the sleeves but the rest of it is not right so the rest of it is just the fabric so that's what you want to do lightweight and in the summertime when it's hot and sunny you can certainly wear more bright colors and louder patterns It'd be easier to do that than if the weather were cloudy or if it was kind of mid-range temperatures something about that and the bright sun go together well I'm wearing short sleeves this is a polo shirt and again, some people object to not having sleeves showing, the cuffs showing below the sleeves of your jacket. And I would prefer to have cuffs showing, but again, when it's really hot out, you might want to sacrifice that little stylistic detail in favor of some comfort. And wearing short sleeves, I think, was beneficial today, just having less fabric layered along my arms. Uh, this shirt is okay, but I'm not entirely happy with it as a polo shirt under tailoring because the collar is kind of soft and floppy. It doesn't stand up. Sometimes it pops out around the tailoring. Some people like to wear them out over the tailoring, over the sport coat. Just pull them out and lay them flat around here. Um, you know, kind of like that. It's not really my style, but some people do that to, I guess, kind of account for a floppy collar. But I would prefer the collar to be a bit um, higher and larger and firmer to stay under tailoring, but this polo shirt made to be worn on its own. Uh, Simon Crompton from Permanent Style recently released a merino wool turtleneck, which I think is sold out now, that has that particular quality of being uh, able to be something you can wear under tailoring because it has a collar that is firmer. Um, but again, polo shirt is a good compromise when it's really hot if you want to keep your arms bare. This is a pattern I usually like to wear, or a combination I usually like to wear, something in a mid-blue. And, and although this has a pattern, it reads as kind of a mid-blue tone with a navy shirt and white trousers, or vice versa, a white shirt and navy trousers. So I'm doing that summertime combination. I talked about this in another video as my summertime uniform. And the white trousers are pleated from ring jacket. You see they've got pleats, they're white, cotton, kind of a mid-rise coming up to around here. I've worn higher. Uh, this is a nice relaxed trouser. It goes well with the polo shirt and jacket. And if, it, if I took this off, it would look really nice with that also. And then lastly, as shoes, I have on slip-ons in suede, navy blue suede. Now these are from um, Suit Supply. Um, find the Suit Supply loafers and slip-ons fit me really well. And this is a my size, they don't need to size up or size down, which can be an issue with loafers because they sit differently on your feet than regular shoes. So sometimes you may need to size up or down. With Suit Supply, I find I do not. And uh, these I'm wearing with uh, no-show socks. I'm getting some ventilation there at the bottom. And also it's kind of a relaxed style, right? The slip-on shoe, and it goes nicely with what I'm wearing overall. It's kind of that summer, resort-ish kind of look. White trousers do that, slip-ons do that. And a pocket square also, also want to mention. Um, I think this is from Drake's of London. It's a navy blue to go with the shirt. And there's some white, white border or white contrast trim edging, which goes with the trousers. 
usually like to keep it simple. Some people put in another color here um, or a pattern, but because I already have a busy pattern on the jacket, don't want to have another pattern here. I really want to keep it within the same family, so I'm not going to wear like a red here at this moment. I prefer to do this blue and it's in a silk, so it's soft. If it were a linen, there'd probably be a lighter blue. I wanted to keep it close in tone to the shirt and the shoes as well. I hope you found that interesting. Uh, if you did, like the video and follow us at Gentlemen's Scholars Club for more what am I wearing videos, tips on menswear, knowledge on style, and uh, classic menswear brands. Thanks for viewing.